Yo, that looks so bad. I don't even think I properly greeted you guys. Good morning. Hi, welcome to another vlog. I did it. I cut my hair. Do you know what? My skin is really like upsetting me because I don't know why it's breaking out, but it's breaking out so bad. But anyway, <coughs> I'm gonna rock it regardless. Regardless, I'm gonna rock it regardless. Ooh, this lighting doesn't want me to talk to you. Yeah, doesn't want me to talk to you, girl. Okay, that's actually a lot better. Yeah, so I've cut my hair. Sorry, like sorry. I tried. You know, I had my hair for a while, between, and it's just. I would just rather have it cut. Um, yeah, just I'm here at work. I just wanted to. I wanted to update that I don't know how to keep my hair on my head anymore, but yeah, I don't know. Like my soft makeup looks don't hit the way they used to and i got this new mascara by essence in person it literally just lightly coats my eyelashes and i think i actually prefer this over like clumpy full lashes trust me it looks better in person like on camera it looks like there's nothing there but in person like i have lashes and my eyebrows are also like coated they look like they're not on camera and my lips are a little bit more like pink tinted i don't know what's going on i think it's i think it's whatever is going on with the camera let me quickly fix this okay um i had so much you know over the past few days i've been thinking so much that i wanted to share i was like i should be vlogging these thoughts i should be vlogging these thoughts like what's a video diary without diarizing like seriously i don't know maybe i should get into the habit of every day at least once a day for minimum five minutes just like switch on the camera you know speak my mind and if it's not stuff that i could like diarize publicly then i could like leave out those parts but i feel like i really need to i really need to get into like diarizing my thoughts um i do think it could be valuable because i don't know like like I said, I'm kind of at that point where I really just want to open up again. I really want to share. And also the way you guys, those of you who have commented, the way you guys have just received me so openly and warmly. Like y'all literally could have just said, <laughs> girl, be for real, like stop at this point. Um, but you guys were so nice about it. So I appreciate it. I really do. But anyway, so now I'm going to start my work week last week i didn't vlog much because i didn't have much going on and i'm not going to force a vlog out of myself and i did say over the next month probably not gonna have much to vlog but to be honest even when i'm off i don't want to create these high expectations i might still not be vlogging that much because <clears throat> like i said i really need to save money like i need to save money i need to stay focused you know um like, I think it's really important to be financially responsible, especially, like, at this age. It's so easy. I'm, like, childless. <laughs> I'm childless, and it's easy for me to, like, be selfish. And when I say selfish, I mean, like, not even considering my future self. Like, not never mind any possible future kids, not even considering my future self um so i feel like it's really important for me to slow down it was all fun and games but now it's important to be responsible um especially with everything that's coming and don't worry i am actually going to share there's a lot of intimate things that are going to be happening but they're also very important stuff very important <laughs> so i'm going to make sure to to share and as as much as i'm comfortable to and like i really hope that you guys enjoy this journey this new part of my life 
but yeah like i'm so excited and i feel like it's so important for me to diarize it and to diarize it in this way in this exact way sorry because <clears throat> like even when i found my diary at the beginning of the year honestly that was such a mistake like i feel like if i keep record anywhere else whether it's in my notes in a paper diary whatever i don't look back on those as much as i look back on my pictures on instagram as much as i look back on my videos on youtube like as much as i look back on my videos on tiktok like i don't look back at paper and notes and all of that as much as i look back at photos and videos and even though like my for example a lot of the stuff i look back on on tiktok and instagram are private so it's literally just for me to look back on but um yeah this one i'm willing to share i want to i don't know what it, uh i hope i don't regret this i'm being so serious like i'm very like woo. <sighs> had my face like had my face don't talk about that blah 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 so this is very weird for me for me to have this feeling for me to want to do this is weird i'm not even scared i just think it's weird if i was scared i wouldn't be doing it like if i felt like oh whoa then it wouldn't be happening okay i keep looking at myself instead of you my bad Ugh, this is why i shouldn't like take breaks between vlogging because then i always come back with the same i keep looking at myself i'm so sorry um, but yeah like another another monday another fresh start fresh week fresh cut uh fresh chapter that i'm in in reading the bible so yeah it's just it's really nice <clears throat> and okay i actually have to go bye guys this keep happening when i when i like want to give that chicken that crusty fry and then it just bubbles up and cooks like a like an oil bubble in the, the, the under skin. My goodness gracious me. That's exactly what you want to see. You see those bubbles, that crust really forming there? That's actually so perfect. Yeah, this forehead is crazy, baby. Yo, that looks so bad. So the weather's really bad, which means the lighting's going to be even worse. But I had to come back to you guys. I had to come back. I don't know if you guys saw when I initially was breaking out. Like, I took a video in the sun. I don't know. I still need to go and check out that video. But literally, I went and I bought uh, the Clicks Tea Tree Soap. And already, I could feel like the bumps, especially these big ones here. I don't know why it's so difficult to show you. Especially the big ones. I could already feel them like going down and then yesterday in the afternoon i don't know what's going on here but whatever yesterday in the afternoon i decided to go and pick up some toner the tea tree um and mattifying toner and then i toned and now they're like becoming like dark like you know when something is healing and it's like turning that like bruise color when pimples are healing and they turn that bruise color and i like me personally i don't know acne scars don't bother me low key even acne like i'm still that's why i just literally took off my scarves that's what i'm trying to say like i took them off and i was just like i'm just gonna let them breathe because why am i gonna hide it that's just gonna make it worse so yeah so now i like did all of that today i'm not in the mood to like do my light makeup so i'm just gonna go to work makeup less this is why I, like, just don't like saying that I'm going to do something, especially when I know I'm not passionate about it. Like, I think, like, being an everyday makeup person requires you to really, really enjoy putting on makeup. And I think for me, like, I can be that person, but I've got it in my mind that I need new makeup. Not because it's like, oh, like, I need new makeup. No, like, I've had the makeup that I have now for years. Should I be ashamed? Maybe maybe probably am i ashamed you know i actually forgot to tell you guys the reason why i bought that tea tree toner years ago <laughs> years ago <laughs> the first time i bought that toner i did i like oh my gosh so i had watched a youtube video this was like what in uni i think this had to have been in uni so i had watched uh, a youtube video what's up 
Yeah, I let her dry dry. Anyway, I had watched a, a YouTube video about tea tree and like how it keeps the skin like matte and blah blah blah. And I don't know who I thought I was, but I was like, obviously, I should have matte skin as well. Like, YouTube made me do so many things to my skin, guys. I once rubbed a bare lemon on my skin because of YouTube. Anyway. So I was watching Oh I think but I was having I think I was having a breakup A break out And I was actually like I went on the internet And was like So what can I do about this Like What can I do about the fact That I have pimples YouTube And I saw a YouTuber And she was saying like Tea tree Tea tree You know like Any like um, skincare with tea tree And she was like You know your skin is going to be A little bit dry But I'd rather deal with dryness Than to deal with a breakout So I was like Valid I hear you Me and you agree on that So I'm going to take your advice Like if we're in agreement Then obviously I should take your advice Bruh I went and I got that tea tree toner From Clicks. It's not the same formula I promise you it's not Back then it was more like Watery and it dried watery like it's like if you put water on your skin and then just let it dry like that same dryness but worse multiplied this one's got like glycerin or something in it it has to have something something moisturizing in it because it doesn't leave your skin dry it like left it very glowy feeling and looking in the morning when i used it um but yeah so guys when i used it the first time i used it for like a few days not even for long when i tell you i literally had like dry skin at different parts of my face let me quickly i had dry skin at different parts of my face my cousin could not stop laughing guys i had literal cobwebs on my skin like it was so dry i can't even say i had snake skin because snake skin looks smooth and shiny it was literal patches of a cobweb like on my skin it was the worst it was the worst but after a few days my skin was dehydrated so bad like real bad and that's what i needed because i was like i want to dry out whatever's happening on my skin right now and they're not offering that anymore they're not offering that anymore but anyway this looks like it's working so it's fine anyway let me actually work it plate we have some medium rare steak it looks blue on camera but it's not it's actually quite cooked um it was put in the oven as well after searing it and getting this really nice uh charring on it and rendering the fat cap and then we have shiitake mushrooms like buttered and herbed shiitake mushrooms then we have the spinach and broccoli mixture um and some mesh and this meal was inspired by the fact that it is that time of the month and i need as much iron as i can get <laughs> so yeah it looks so good i'm so excited the only thing that's missing here is some sort of like sauce i don't know why i didn't think about that but this is dinner for today okay so i'm gonna end with this vlog over here I don't know like it's very chatty a lot less footage this is not really the kind of vlogs i like putting out like i like more like aesthetic shots and like minimal talking <laughs> minimal minimal talking but yeah just had dinner the dinner that i showed you and now i want to get some work done before starting the week tomorrow um thank you so much if you've watched this i do hope like there will be a little bit more excitement in the next vlog that i put which might be two weeks from now might be three weeks from now who knows 
uh, but yeah I'm, I'm just glad to be back to those things if you're thinking why is the light bouncing off of me like this it's because of the toner so i told you guys about whoa that's very bad but yeah as you can see it's doing its thing when i put the big bumps out some of them are totally gone some of them are reduced i'm not in a rush like i'm not gonna overdo putting the product on my skin and end up damaging my skin barrier that's also not what i'm going for i know what i said previously that i was i was going for dehydration <laughs> i know what he said but like in hindsight no it's good like this it's better this way it is better this way in hindsight but yeah i'm gonna close off the video here thank you so much for watching like i said hopefully next time i see you i'm i'm more entertaining but yeah this is just sometimes it's gonna be like this and i think because i want to diarize more consistently i have to get more comfortable with that and hopefully you guys are also comfortable with that but thank you for watching thank you for sharing your time with me like i really do appreciate you sharing your time with me because you could be doing anything else and yet here you are sitting you know listening to me talk talking back to me whether that's if you shy just talking to your phone and not writing anything or actually writing something in the comment section but let's also remember i'm not a youtuber like this is not my career you know like this is something that i do for fun so please like understand that part as well i can't be consistent i can't always have like entertaining uh posts but this is something i really do enjoy especially like the community aspect of it so you know hopefully it just it's not too much of a letdown from an outside perspective but for me this just it just feels good to be doing this again and like i said um because of what's happened for the end of the year which i don't want it to seem like i'm like oh stay tuned i just i, I don't want to say it yet some things need to be moved around first and then i will just full disclosure and you know just but some things need to be moved around first this is just how i usually then why am i mentioning it uh just so you don't have a shock <laughs> so you don't have a shock because you guys know i'm very closed off so i did want to like ease you guys into not being closed off but yeah anyway now i'm just now i'm just talking too much i'll see you guys in my next video